Twister is a rip-roaring adventure that definitely doesn't suck, nor does it blow. In fact, this was the first PG-13 film I ever watched, and it really blew me away. <laughs> you know, I have a never-ending list of tornado puns, but I'll try not to get too carried away. <laughs> Welcome to yet another entry in my Scary Scenes and Non-Horror Flicks series, where I review and analyze frightening sequences in films that don't necessarily fall under the horror category. Now, you know what can be scary? Uh, nature. Damn, nature, you scary. Nature has devastated mankind with some truly terrifying phenomena, including, but not limited to, volcanoes, hurricanes, and of course, tornadoes. These swirling wind monsters can obliterate almost anything in their paths with relative ease. I've always been fascinated by tornadoes and the sheer power they possess. In fact, when I was a young man, uh, my father used to take me out in the car during thunderstorms because he knew that I wanted to see a tornado in real life, and yeah, I was kind of stupid for doing that, but hey, I was obsessed with tornadoes back in the day, and the film that sparked my fascination was none other than the 1996 disaster flick, Twister. The suck zone. Now, I love this film to death. It's corny and utterly unrealistic, but it satisfies my insatiable hunger for wanton Hollywood destruction. And, oh, on a side note, I remember visiting the uh, Twister theme park attraction at Universal Studios. You know, the one where they put you on a set and literally created a tornado right in front of your eyes. Oh man, it, it literally took my breath away. Now, before I start analyzing what I find to be the scariest scene in the film, I'd like to get into a little history. Twister was conjured up at Amblin Entertainment, owned by the legendary Steven Spielberg. Spielberg himself was originally attached to direct the film, but ultimately decided to serve solely as executive producer. It was offered to such giants as Tim Burton and James Cameron before finally landing in the lap of Dutch filmmaker Jan de Bont. The man had just gifted audiences with the action-packed extravaganza, Speed. The primary reason DeBont signed on was because he knew this would be his last chance to make a large-scale film that relied mostly on practical effects. CGI was getting more and more popular, and he knew that the technology would one day replace most practical effects in movies. Also, he wanted to give audiences exactly what they wanted in a tornado disaster flick. And boy howdy did he deliver. Twister features a number of awesome sequences that showcase the destructive power of tornadoes. Not only that, it has Bill Paxton, and that's a win for any movie. At one point, the main character stopped at a drive-in movie theater for a little reprieve from storm chasing, but something truly ominous is forming not too far away, and it's ready to unleash maximum carnage. Okay, okay, I thought of one more fantastic tornado pun to start things off. So yeah, uh, before we begin the countdown, I'd like to annoy you a little bit longer. Okay, now this scene largely takes place in the dead of night, in this kind of environment, it'd be near impossible to spot a tornado forming, which by the way, is one of my biggest fears. Uh, driving down a lonely road uh, with a tornado lurking in the darkness, not being able to tell how close it is to me, not a very pleasant thought. Also, uh, I loved that they included a little snippet of The Shining. It's the scene where, you know, bloodthirsty Jack Nicholson is stalking his prey with an axe. A clever way to symbolize the presence of a monster. As I recall, this is the only time in the film where you hear an actual tornado siren. Growing up in the Midwest, I would often awaken to the unnerving sound of a tornado siren blaring in the distance. Instant shivers down my spine. It was always a terrifying experience. No! No! 
So the only light sources are the drive-in screen and the occasional flashes of lightning. And just the sheer power of this thing. They really made the tornadoes in this film seem like sentient monsters, complete with these loud, booming roars. Scientifically inaccurate, I know. Just, just enjoy the movie. Also, the sound effects are top-notch. In fact, the deafening sounds of the tornadoes were so potent that they destroyed surround speakers in multiple theaters across the globe. Yeah, um, even fictional tornadoes can cause some real damage. Again, <laughs> uh, the director cheekily added in these moments from The Shining to add to the overall terror. We see Jack Nicholson breaking a door down with an axe, causing property damage, just as the tornado is causing damage in real life. Well, in the context of the film. Oh man, you know what? I can... I can attest to this. Uh, this scene does a really good job of capturing what it's like being caught in the midst of a tornado. Just crowds of people sprinting in different directions, looking for the best spots to take cover. It's just pure chaos. And obviously this was all filmed on a controlled set where everything was properly planned in advance. Also, I love how we see actual dust blowing in the background. I'm sure they had a multitude of wind machines present to add to the intensity of the sequence. I'm sure it wasn't difficult for the actors to appear freaked out in this scene. Bits of glass and debris just flying every which way. Now, even though I do love this movie, I did read reports that director Jan de Bont went a bit too far with certain scenes, and this was probably one of them. I do wonder if the actors here felt a bit unsafe with all these set pieces just crumbling around them. I know I certainly would have been trembling in terror. It just reminds me of a lot of those classic Hollywood disaster flicks where they would destroy actual locations and sets. You know, flicks, you know, flicks like uh, Earthquake and, you know, The Towering Inferno and, you know, just a number of old school, you know, Hollywood disaster flicks where they actually destroyed some shit. <laughs> Good little character moment here. I always liked this little moment between Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton. You know, as professional storm chasers, they've been studying tornadoes for a long time and have become a bit numb to their presence. But Bill's fiance is just a regular citizen, one who isn't used to all this, hence her screams of terror. It's a reminder that tornadoes pose a significant threat to regular people. You know, they're not just scientific pursuits. Although, you know, Jamie Gertz could handle vampires, you know, the Lost Boys. I mean, she had no problem with vampires, but tornadoes, <laughs> boy.
Oof, just the way the lights flicker as the tornado vanishes and all the destruction it's left in its wake, it's turned this drive-in theater into a total disaster area and the way the audio just gradually fades, it's just eerie, you know, straight out of a horror movie. So yeah, guess this is what happens when you get caught in the suck zone. <laughs> Sucks up. As stated, this film is often corny and unrealistic, but it's an absolute thrill ride, and intense sequences like this make the ride worth it. Thank you so much for joining me in my analyzation of the driving sequence in 1996's Twister. I hope you guys had a good time. I really enjoy making these videos. Um, you know, I've made a number of these videos in the past. I've done stuff like The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Spider Man 2. Fire in the Sky. I really love watching and analyzing scary scenes in films that don't necessarily qualify as horror. It's just one of my favorite things to do. And I'll leave a, uh, I'll leave a playlist in the, the, uh, the description area down below so you guys can definitely check the rest of those videos out. And if you like this, guys, please subscribe to my channel for more horrific content. And yeah, luckily I live in Arizona now, so I don't have to worry too much about tornadoes, although we do get dust devils every now and then, which aren't powerful at all, you know, for the most part. You can pretty much just drive through a dust devil and not have any worries. They're not threatening at all. <laughs> it beats being caught in an actual tornado. Um, yeah, that's one thing I don't miss about living in the Midwest. Anyway guys, thank you, thank you so much again. Uh, what are some of your favorite disaster flicks? Or, you know, what are some of your favorite scary scenes from non-horror films? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. You know, please leave them in the comments down below. And guys, have a scary day, and I hope your day doesn't suck. <laughs> I'll cut it out with the tornado puns, I promise. Take care, guys. Thank you so, so much. The Suck Zone. <sighs>